Stephen, thank you. The Johnson County Suicide Prevention Coalition team is dedicated to saving lives. Kevin McGuire with that team. Kevin, thanks for being here. And this is the second time in as many months you've joined us. So obviously this is a problem right now for so many people and these families in Shawnee dealing with this. What can people do if they feel like someone they know or love might be exhibiting some of these factors that might be leading to this, so they might be having suicidal thoughts. What should a person be watching out for? It's tough, but talking about it is the most important thing. Um, you know, checking, uh, checking who the individual is, checking your own gut, and making sure that we uh, keep an open line of communication with us and our loved ones is probably the most important thing that we can do. The, and you mentioned open line of communication. I think for most people that would be watching, if they have a thought or if they have a fear like that, the, the number one thing I would think they would say is, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to approach my son, daughter, nephew, niece, whatever. What does a person say to someone if they are afraid that maybe they're thinking about this kind of thing? What can we say? Ask for help. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's especially as a young kid, it's difficult to trust a lot of people. So ask those who trust you. Um, and if you're not sure who to trust, uh, call the resources that we all know. Call the Suicide Prevention Hotline, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. You can call our, our local crisis line for support. And uh, there's people out there who are ready and willing to, to give uh, individual support, especially those who don't know where to turn. Right. And I know it's tough, too. It's got to add an extra layer to this because obviously there are certain people who make the decision to do this that you would never know anything is going on. They, they put up a good front to the public and kind of hide themselves. Does that add an extra layer of difficulty to this of identifying who might be feeling that way? It, it can, you know, everybody is uh, unique and, and individual and, and sometimes it is tough to identify who is struggling with thoughts, but uh, the best way to do that is, is to ask. You know, if, if, you're, if your gut's telling you, um, you know, that this person is, is off today, just, just ask and, you know, if, if you're willing uh, to be that person to, to have that conversation, make sure that they know that, that this is a safe person to talk to. Right. So again, obviously, as we saw in Shawnee this month and, and Olathe last month, it does happen. There are people affected, the families affected. What do we say? How can we help the people that are left behind after someone makes this decision? We are in a phase right now called postvention, and postvention is really important in, in this whole process. And postvention is where we can continue to have the conversation, continue to let the kids know. Uh, you matter, yeah. uh, you matter for me, I care about you. Um, I'm willing to be that person to come to and talk to. And, and if you don't know that person, I'm willing to be the person to connect you to that person. Okay, Kevin, thank you for joining us today on this tough Absolutely. topic to talk about. Obviously, we have resources available for people to contact. There's the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline that Kevin mentioned. Also someone available 24 seven at the Johnson County Mental Health Center. All this information is available for you on our website right now, kshb.com, check it out.